doing kind of like an inspection of the RV after our renters returned it. So far, it actually looks really good. I mean, these renters were pretty clean. Everything looks so far pretty good. This can be deceiving. Remember last time when we had everything looked spotless and then we checked the bathroom and it was like a, the was biggest disaster I've ever seen in the shower. Uh, whenever you're doing a post rental cleanup, you want to be methodical and go through, go through every everything. See if there's anything that you need to um, replace. Make sure all your supplies are there. Like we used to have a full thing of band aids, aspirins. Like it's all here. Make sure we still have our first aid. Oh, somebody left the charger. So you would find, you're gonna find a lot of uh, missing items. Sometimes we find fun stuff like this, like a renter one time left this game, so now it belongs to the RV. Yeah. <laughs> now it belongs to the renters. With, with, uh, with age, oh. they left their jacket in here. The kids' jackets. Oh, good boy. All right, sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay, we need to call them and return their jackets. There's a bunch of them. <laughs> yeah. This is clearly by on accident. They didn't, they didn't even contact us. You know they have to be missing it. I don't think they've realized that they're missing it. A lot of people seem to leave things, important things, and it's like they don't, they forget about it. Yeah. Like that bizarre. one time when someone left their phone, they never, con we even tried to contact them afterwards and they yeah, never they responded. They still didn't respond, yeah. Bizarre. Good thing I got the lady's phone, uh, phone number. Yeah, we can just message them. So you always want to have extra linen for your guests, and pillowcases, and sheets. We want to wash these after every round. We usually wash them after, after every use. Whether it's used or not, we wash everything. We just assume that they. One thing that I have to say. So you also want to check the refrigerator and make sure there are no leftover food items in here because Sometimes that's happened in the past where we found leftover food items and it's already rotten that time we got to it. Especially the freezer, usually it's like there's usually a lot of things, condensation and then it'll freeze. Yeah, so make sure everything is nice and clean. Let's see. Check for expired items, check your microwave. You also want to turn turn things on and make sure that they work. Check your levels, turn your generator on. Very nice. Check all your supplies. Make sure everything works, check every cabinet. Is this ours? That is new to me. I haven't seen this one before. Yeah. <laughs> Were they just looking for people to take their stuff? <laughs> they just want to give things away. They're generous renters. Check the cabinets. This is new as well. Oh, that's from a previous one. This is from like a couple of renters ago. Oh, so okay. I don't that they hear. Alright. Yeah. See, we get stuff all the time Including from this renters. charger? I don't recognize that That's charger. That's not ours, but I don't know. Is that ours? I don't yeah, remember. Ours. Okay. This model is not ours. Oh, that's been in here for the past, like, oh. several renters. It's It belongs to the RV now. So you're gonna find a lot of leftover stuff. But that will happen too. That will happen. And then you find weird stuff like garlic 
sell where the cups are. Raise the blades in a way that it won't fall over the place. Check your oven, make sure there's nothing left over in there. Check your windows, make sure everything works okay. It looks like they took some blankets. I don't know if they took them or what, but it looks like we definitely have less than usual. Less than, yeah, there's less linen than. We don't have all our linen. Yeah. How many blankets? We need to keep count. So. Yeah, we do. So you can't blame them. You don't even know how many linens you have. For the most part, everything's pretty clean. We really just need to wipe everything down. Yeah. Before. Kind of sanitize it a bit. And then, other than that, it's clean. And we just have to, you know, wash the linens and the towels. Yeah. So far, the coach part of it looks good. Uh, the generator runs great. I'm also going to check my slider to make sure that it deploys well without any problems. I'm going to start the engine as well. Make sure there's no problem with that as well. Too long. There we go. Uh, sit in the front seat and look at the rev view mirror. Oh, and by the way, whenever you move the slider, you actually want to check the slider uh, post rental because there's a lot of dirt in the corners that you might miss if you don't deploy the slider to check around it yeah, and that's the hard one. yeah there's a lot of leftover food and things around the corner so make sure you uh you you uh, you uh open up the slider and clean it i'm gonna close it You're gonna find stains like that and just make sure those are clean. These renters were decent. They took care of the RV. It's not always like this. Most times the RV come back in a hot mess. So especially the bathroom is nasty, but this one is not bad at all. Yeah, this, this guy's took care of it. Okay, you also want to do a quick walk around and make sure everything looks good. You might need to turn the generator on if you need. Do a quick walk around, make sure there are no dents on your RV. It's easy to miss a scratch here or there. You want to make take a really nice look at everything. Check your uh, connections. These are easily damaged just from wear and tear and from people not using it well or my handling it. So just make sure that the connections are working fine. 
just uh, eyeball everything, open up the uh, the storage bins, make sure everything is intact. There are no missing holes. Check your generator hatch. Make sure your wires are plugged in properly. Locked. Our black waist hose is there. Your gas is a lot of times before I park the RV, I make sure I turn this gas off. I worry that it leaks. Um, one time I had it stored out for stored for a few months, and the gas was gone by the time we got to it. So. I just make sure this is closed. Make sure your hose and your filter are in place. And no one made, a, made off with them. Wait a minute, where's the other hose? the dirty hose in there as well perfect looking good to me all right so everything looks great I'm gonna go ahead and clean up <laughs> 